Okay, so guys, assalamualaikum and a very good day. Thank you for watching this video. So, I think I'm going to make this kind of capsule, uh, like explanation of every single um lesson that we have learned, and I should taught you guys, I should teach you guys. Sorry. Uh, so I think this is uh, much better as you can um uh, refer flip through the notes at the same time. Uh, you can listen to my explanation on every single uh. Page, um, you know, and I've prepared uh, the summary of all the topics that we should learn and we should know, um, and you should know, okay, um, for this uh, uh, subject, okay, law, uh, sorry, law, L E A 4123, which is the fundamental of law enforcement. So I've told you guys that uh, I've separated and I've divided. Uh, this module into few uh, parts but then um, for this purpose I'm going to just lay down every single um, you know topics and subtopic and what you need to know and what uh, is important and of course what you need to focus on uh, for your final exam okay so just ignore the small um, video of mine okay because I just want you to uh, be I need to feel that I'm I'm with you, okay? So, uh, first of all, uh, this module uh, LEA four one two three is fundamentals of uh, law enforcement, and this is the very basic and very um, <clears throat> I will say the introductory to your um, program, which is a uh, law enforcement diploma or law enforcement certificate. Okay, we buy. It is very important to understand the foundation and the gist. Um, or the root of uh, law enforcement. Okay, since I told you guys that um, they are long kind of versions um, of the history part uh, with regards to law enforcement and I've divided into uh, centuries and of course uh, divided into continents and um, a state or country um, and then um, I divided into timeline as well so we have discussed been discussing this for so long and I believe that everyone um, uh, has a clear idea of what law enforcement is all about okay when you talk about law enforcement it is totally different than law okay because law is something that um, related to the rules and regulations that has been um, stipulated and then uh, when it comes to law enforcement uh, it is the stage whereby uh, the implementation of all the laws um, and of course all the regulations and rules uh, which has been uh, have been um, you know made by the um, House of uh, Representative and of course um, Senator, okay, uh, to be implemented and to be seen whether it is applicable, whether it is workable for um, every single citizen in a certain country. So, in our perspective, it is Malaysia, whereby Malaysia historically um, it is a uh, yeah, democracy. Uh, with parliament kind of country and we have Islam as our main religion, uh, main state religion and at the same time we have um, our parliamentary system uh, as the part of uh, the branches in the administrative whereby it is very important to understand that these branches, um, executive, legislator and judiciary have their own uh, respective um, rules and responsibilities okay so for law enforcement it falls under executive branch okay it is very important to have the separation of power between these three branches because we don't want any of this branch to uh, topple any of the other okay like for example um, if we have a, a minister which uh, falls under the executive branch okay to be the minister of course and then he will hold the same uh, uh, he will hold another post okay in the uh, legislature which is uh, under house of representative or the Yad. Okay, and they are uh, we call as Ali Parliament. Okay, or the parliamentary members, and um, this power means they have two types of powers. Now, one is under executive, another one is under 
um, legislator. So we have to set the boundaries and we have to set certain limitations so that uh, there is no an abuse of power by um, any of the minister, any of the person uh, that has been chose by the rakyat or by the citizen to, um, you know, to enact the law under legislature or to uh, to run the administrative uh, position under the government by uh, having uh, a post, okay, uh, as a minister under the executive branch, okay. So let's proceed.